Well, I'm gonna go ahead and get myself a drink of water here. We are back. I would like to ask that if you enjoy the content here on the Prescott Caliber Club, please share our videos to your social media pages. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notifications bell icon. That'll help us gain a lot of traction. Okay, so this past winter, what happened was it got a little cold in the cabin, it froze, water got inside of here, and it blew the top. So it's time to change the faucet today. Let's get that taken care of. First things first, we want to get our water turned off so there's no water pressure coming through these lines. And then, next up, we want to take these off. And this will allow us to get through, get up into the faucet and remove the faucet. So guys, it's a bit inevitable that you're going to get wet. Let's just start and drain this one first. On out. And do the same thing over on this side here. All right, guys, we need a little break here to teach some children. Here, Knox, you take one. Okay, come over on this side. Show Dexter. We'll get one for Dexter too. Put one right here. Here, there you go. See Dex? Look at that. You spin it. Knox, can you put one on that side? Yeah, there you go. See, scooch over a little bit, Dex. There you go, dude. Dexter, look at right here. Get it. Yeah, that's how we fix sinks. Yeah. That's right. You spinning it on there? Yeah. That's right. Spin it right there. <laughs> like, oh shit, now we're, gonna have a, now we're gonna have a screaming baby that we gotta put soap on his thumb somehow. Right. <laughs> if it went in, it'll come out. Knox, what you working on? Yeah. Alright, let's put Scooby doing it and get to work. The Glacier Bay uh, Constructor Kitchen Faucet, this was rated number one on the prepper list of best prepping. Uh, faucet. That's what Moses runs in his house, so. Yeah. Turn back on. Yeah. Yeah, it, there's nothing you really. It just keep it steady as I tighten them up. Okay, shut it off. When you get done installing a faucet, one of the first things you want to do is turn all the water on and then sit down here and watch to see if there's anything dripping. That's biggest biggest issue because if you notice, there's open, open back areas and if any of that gets wet, you're gonna deal with rotting and major, major issues in the future. So um, you check all your, all your connections and I don't see anything dripping. Everything looks good. The water has been turned back on. Hot water, and guess what? There's no shower coming out of there. We're fixed. We're back to it. Job number two done. It's hard to spin it. When we're driving, this chain is slapping and slapping and hitting on both ends, and it's pretty loose. So that's what Noxie and I are going to do today. We want to uh, tighten the chain on the four wheeler, so stick around. Well, let me take the chain off and see if I can take the link out. I'm going to find that. Yeah, now you want to spin the tire? Go ahead, spin it for daddy. Spin, spin, spin. What we're looking at here, guys, is a chain. It seems to be a little long right now, and like the adjustment isn't, the, the most adjusted position is not gonna help it. So here's the link where you can, you know, unhook the chain. I don't know if all of you know how that works, but just a link comes out. Now, if we wanted to shorten it, and take one of these links out, 
I want to get this piece actually linking back through here. That's one full length from here to here. But I also want to be sure that it's not too um, going to be too short and then I can't run it on the bike. So I'm going to oil this thing up. I'm going to check it out and I'm going to see if it will fit on the bike. If I think I have room, I'm going to drill one of these off and shorten it. If not, I'll adjust it as tight as I can and just go from there. Okay guys, so I don't think it's a whole lot better. There's still some play, but it is only a couple of inches, few inches maybe. It's close, it's better than it was. Noxie boy and I are gonna go for a ride. Nox, Noxie, Noxie, can you look through here? Look at me, look at me, I can see you right here. Say hi. hi. What are you working on? Working on this one, what are you working on? Show me. Oh, you're pounding drywall screws through, the, through it? Yeah. Oh. I guess. PCC to hostile one, gate check one, clear. The temp four, hostile one, copies. All right, we're gonna head out to the second gate. Knox is gonna drive us. Check, check, we're heading to the second gate. 10 4, check, check. Alright, here we are at the next gate. So, this is gate number two. Yeah. Alright, so let's do something here. Let's shut this off. Turn it around so the camera can see us. And now we're going to do a radio check with Uncle Mo, okay? So, we're going to go. PCC to Hostile 1, we are at gate 2. Can you read me? 10 4, Hostile 1, copies. All right, buddy, so we got good radios. Let's talk about this for a minute. So, all right, guys, one big concern being here out on the ranch land is that, um, first of all, security is a big issue. You know, we're, we're 10,000 acres away from really getting to a road or anything like that. So it's a little difficult, and you want to be sure that everything is... Um, cool you know before you need it so as you guys can see here this is a gate this is one of the gates that we uh, we have on our way we have two gates uh, the second one is a little bit more secure than this one uh, the reason for this gate is simply that that you can see there's a one of the main ranch roads runs back here now it's a couple of miles from my uh, my cabin but um, you know the gate is here so I wanted to on this trip bring my my radios out which Knox is playing with I'm show him what you got what kind of radio is this is this a Baofeng yeah yeah, so we're using Baofeng radios, trying to see uh, how much distance and range we can get uh, out here on the ranch. One way that's really good to teach a young kid when you you know how to drive an ATV or something along those lines is to is to regulate their throttle. So I wanted to demonstrate here how I'm doing it with Knox. All right, Knox, show us how you how you floor it and then let go. Okay, so floor it and now let go and now let go. Okay. Now what what Daddy is doing is Daddy's hand is back here holding the back of the throttle. So can you press the throttle now? Floor it. Try flooring it. Oh, you can't. Oh, you can't floor it. Daddy has to let it go. All right. Okay, so don't press it yet. So, guys, I just wanted to show you how I help Knox regulate the four-wheeler and the speed as we're driving along these trails. It looks kind of fast on the GoPro, but really it's not. It's only a few miles an hour. Uh, and again, we're on private properties. All right, guys, we're going to get back to the cabin. So far, the chain is sounding much, much better. I'm not hearing the clunking sound, so I think we've got that solved. Today, we have to... Um, get the batteries. I got to check out my batteries in the cabin and then the last thing I really need to do is measure up and draw up my um, 
my water my uh, water collection system. So those will be the things we'll be doing today, and then we'll be all set, and we'll be heading home tomorrow. So Knox is going to take us back to the cabin on the four-wheeler. Let's do it, buddy. So yeah, I think that until next week, I just would like for you guys to stay safe and keep prepping.